the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 6 verses 39 to 42. He also told them a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone when he is fully taught will be like his teacher. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye or how can you say to your brother brother let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye you hypocrite first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye the gospel of the lord we live in a world where we meet often self righteous people everyone declares themselves as people of god and who have access to the kingdom of god often innocent people are victims of this type of people as a follower of jesus how is your spiritual life are you clear sighted especially in your perception of sin and the need to see us as correctly as god sees us with our own faults weakness and strength jesus two parables about poor vision alluded to the proverb without vision the people perish proverbs 29:18 what can we learn from the illustration of a blind guide and a bad eye a bad eye left untreated and a blind guide can cause a lot of trouble that will only end in misery and disaster for us we can only help and teach others what we have learned and received from wise teachers and guides and how can we help others overcome their faults if we are blinded by our own faults and misperceptions we are all in need of a physician who can help us to overcome the blind spot and failings of our own sins weakness and ignorance jesus came to free us from the worst oppression of possible slavery to sin fear and condemnation like a gentle and skillful doctor the lord jesus exposes the cancer of sin evil and oppression in our lives so we can be set free and restored to wholeness a key step to healing and restoration requires that we first submit to the physician who can heal us the lord jesus is our great physician because he heals the whole person soul and body mind and heart and restores us to abundant life both now and for the ages to come in his everlasting kingdom The Lord Jesus wants to heal and restore us to wholeness not only for our own sake alone he also wants us to be his instruments of healing pardon and restoration for others as well what can hinder us from helping others draw near to Jesus the divine physician the rabbis taught he who judges his neighbor favorably will be judged favorably by God how easy it is to misjudge others and how difficult it is to be impartial in giving good judgment our judgment for others is usually off the mark because we can't see inside the other person or we don't have access to all the facts or we are swayed by instinct and unreasoning reaction to people this states a heavenly principle we can stake our lives on what you give to others will return to you the lord knows our faults and he sees all even the misperfections and sins of the heart which we can recognize in ourselves like a gentle father and a skillful doctor He patiently draws us to his seat of mercy and removes the cancer of sin which inhabits our hearts. Do you trust in God's mercy and grace? Ask the Lord to flood your heart with his loving kindness and mercy that you may only have room for charity, forbearance and kindness toward your neighbor. And I pray may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.